Okay, tell me your name and what character you'll be playing in the upcoming film Consequences. And I'll be playing Jordan in the film Consequences. My name's Sean Johnson and I play the role as Trent. My name is Donisha and I play the role of Kimberly. Hi, I'm Fabiola Berrigan. I play the role of Sonia in the upcoming film Consequence. Vanity in the upcoming film Consequences. My name is Akeisha Thomas and I play Princess in the upcoming film Consequences. Okay, so tell me a little bit about your character. Okay, Jordan, he's a he's a junior in high school, he's a pretty good kid. He has contact with his father who's in jail, but the problem is his stepfather locked him away and so in contrast, him and his stepfather don't have too good of a relationship. He's a good kid and he's surrounded by, you know, drugs. It's, it's that environment today. He has his stepfather who's trying to step in and tell him, you know, not to do that. Him and his mother, but he won't let him, he won't let him in because he doesn't like him. Because he locked his father away in jail. Why were you late? I had to do something for Bookie. I thought you and Bookie didn't kick it no more after he joined that gang. So what? I'm not in no gang. Well, you might as well be in one. What is your problem? What is number three on our list of rules? Don't, Don't mingle with bad company. And what you do? Go against the rules of the house? My character is Sonia. She's taking care of her brother and her sister. Her mother is an addict, and in school, she tends to look for love in all the wrong places. So basically, she's doing, making her own decisions. Kimberly is very rebellious, she's very promiscuous, she has a really bad attitude that gets her in a lot of trouble at both home and at school. She, she's fast, I guess you could say. <laughs> I mean, Kim needs you. So y'all can't make my talk. Well, good morning. Good morning to you too. <laughs> you look a mess, what happened to you? Life. Trent Consequence is a superstar athlete, football player, well like guy. Um, he has that big ego, you know, about him getting anything that he wants. And one thing that he wants is princess. And um, he tries hard to get a consequence is more about absence and staying, um, staying not active and sexually active. And my goal is to take that down. And it's in uh, I try my best to. Look, oh, okay, I get it. I'm gonna pay for it. I got two dollars. Do you seriously think you can buy this? <laughs> Your money can't protect me from getting pregnant. Well, Vanity is like any other ordinary teenage girl, except she goes with a boy who abuses her. And getting my track scholarship or a scholarship academically and uh, going to college. Just pursuing that with my goals and the Look, I've been thinking, right? I've been dating for about three weeks now. I think it's time for us to, you know, step it up a notch. Time for what? It's time for me to go do my homework. <laughs> I told you I'm not trying to do that right now. Not till I get married. Move on with your children. Raise them the right way. Teach them good morals, respect. Teach them that there's more than hanging on the street. Show them other aspects outside of, you know, the ghetto, outside of common life. Let them explore what it is that they want to do, whether it's sports, whether it's music, dance, whatever it is, there's more to life than being on the street, being on the block. So Carol wants her children to have more out of life. That's the reason why she works so much. I would like them to take a lesson that, you know, don't be a follower, be a leader. Uh, think before you do stuff, because stuff like that comes back on you in the long run. It really does. And just be wiser. It is hard to keep abstinence, but I think it's better if, if you choose abstinence, that's really good because it's better. Don't, don't turn your back on those who try to help you because you never know when karma's going to come back and bite you. Athletes, superstars, whatever we do to use that as a persona, get rid of it. 
that's the main thing that I could say. Just get back to who you were in the beginning. Get back to the standards you was taught. Get back to how you was raised. If you had a mother, a father, both in the home. Um, just get back to, to, to what's unique about yourself. Because after all the fame and all the superstar and being the athlete, after that's all gone, you're going to realize that that's the people who got you there because of that, because of the athlete. Um, and then you forget everything that, that, you know, you forget everything that was, that was given to you by God and a blessing because you had, you chased, you know, the right thing. You wouldn't be a traitor, you wouldn't be, you know, you know your own. So that's, that's about it. I would like to say when you first see the signs, come on, you should immediately get out of the relationship. And if you are getting abused, then you need to do something about it. You need to tell somebody and speak up and don't keep it a secret. If I was to sit down at Sonia and talk to my mother, I would tell her, put down the drugs, take care of your kids, take responsibility and love us because we're hurting and we need her. In this day of age, in this time, it's, it's hard. It's hard out there for single parents, for married couples. It's just hard. I mean, look at the economy. So, this story here, let's, you know, this story here, let's teenagers, let's parents look at, you know, life. What's going on? What's happening? Also, it's a story for children to know that, hey, you know what, your parents teach you things for a reason. Do the right thing and guess what, you don't have to pay the consequences. Everyone hears, oh well, consequences, but what are the consequences? Some people get out of it, but some people don't. So this is a real eye opener. Touche, new fake, cool as the unthought, but I still feel possessed as a gun charge to come as correct.